Hi, this is Meg McCarthy from Cherry Picks. We're here at the Athleta Store in Park City for the 2023 Sundance Film Festival. Oh my gosh, congratulations on this beautiful film. Happy Sundance. How's everyone feeling? Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much for having us. Oh, this It's my pleasure. Uh, truly, just congratulations. Um, this first question is for everyone. In honor of Fremont being a beautiful homage to hope, um, I'd love to hear from all of you how hope and the power of possibility played a part in your personal and professional journey on this film. <laughs> Whoever would like to start. <laughs> well, I just hoped that I would do a good job uh, after Babak asked me to be in the film. Mm -hmm. I usually do uh, more comedy-oriented stuff, and I loved the script so much that I couldn't say no to it. It was just such a beautiful script, and I really wanted to uh, give everything I possibly could mm. to make it work, even though I felt it was a little bit out of the normal sort of project that I would do. So I definitely hoped uh, every morning that uh, I would come through for him. Mm. That's lovely. Um, what about you guys? Uh, hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one was for, for me first time acting in a movie, so I hope I did a good job, and I was a journalist, so I was familiar with the camera and microphone, and I hope uh, everyone loved the movie. Yeah. 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 When you're venturing into making an indie film, how there's a lot of hope that goes into it, and about the power of possibility, um, and the dream of it, and can you speak a little bit about that? Yes, um, with... Uh independent filmmaking and perhaps with all kinds of filmmaking but i can only speak about independent filmmaking you go in fingers crossed um because um you have limited time to make the film we had some the realities of the day with you know covid was still around and uh, you hope people don't catch it people still start dropping out um you have hope that what you imagine it imagined the film when you wrote it would come out across come across when you shoot it and uh, with Anaita and Greg, um, the, it was pretty clear immediately that um, there was nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. So that was very reassuring. Mm -hmm. And like uh, Greg said earlier, um, I've been a huge fan of his for a long time. And um, when, um, when the thought came to ask him to be in the film, that was the first, like, fingers crossed, Greg will say yes. <laughs> Um, with Anita, you know, we, she said she's never acted before, um, so it was crucial, she's in almost every frame of the film, it was crucial to find someone who first had, had lived an experience which was, if not identical, but similar to the character of Donia, and also the fact that um, she'd never acted before, so hoping she can pull it off, and I mean, oh, she, she, did, she, she, right. <laughs> she absolutely did. So. Um. Watching film in black and white feels incredibly intimate. It feels very focused. Um, and I couldn't help but think of the duality of the light and dark of life um, while watching this and your choice to mix, your brilliant choice to mix dry humor with this serious story. Um, I would love to know why that was an important choice for Donia's journey to be told through that lens. Um, I wish I had a more uh, intellectual reasoning for the decision to shoot in black and white, but it was... Uh, literally a gut feeling I had mm. that the fi the film would work better in black and white. Part of it was that San Francisco um, in color we'd seen a lot. Yeah. Um, I wanted to show Fremont as this commuter town and uh, San Francisco as this major city, uh, world city, that there wasn't actually that much of a difference in between them if you shoot it in black and white. Mm. And um, about the humor... Um, being important in the film, I think, um, and I think Greg will be able to speak about this as well from his own work. I think, in a lot of ways, um, some things that are serious in tone are perhaps um, um, there's a, I don't know there's a potential to get bogged down in sentimentality in it. Mm. I think elements of humor. Um, I mean, it's not an Adam Sandler film kind of humor, but I'm, I'm you know, just elements of humor uh, can show or move the story forward in actually a stronger way, have a bigger impact mm -hmm. than if it was all completely serious and 
um, um, heavy yeah. in tone. And um, with Greg, I had absolutely um, no um, reason to think he, that wouldn't. I mean, he when the first time we spoke, he completely got the tone of the film. And Anaita as well, I think um, she, again, I stress this because of her own experiences, mm -hmm. which I'm um, sorry, I mean, she'll say were heavy, yeah. uh, heavy in, mm -hmm. um, in reality, they were heavy. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, my aim was absolutely not to downplay those. Mm -hmm. But I did feel that if Anaito um, was acting as Donya in this film and had these elements of, um, let's say, sort of absurdities, mm. it because life is absurd. I think you know everything. Every situation is absurd in life. Even tragic things are absurd, and I think that was uh, what she also managed to um, to bring into the role as well. Lovely, beautifully said. That was a very profound answer. I don't know what you're talking about at the beginning of that. <laughs> well, about the black and white. I'm <laughs> so. It all tied in. Yeah. Um, speaking of, I'd love to ask you, um, I can only imagine, as your director here said, how personal this project was for you. Um, how did stepping into Donya's shoes give you the opportunity to re-examine your own experiences? Uh I want to say uh, it was not easy to remember what uh, all Afghan people uh, gone through. Uh, and every day we had shooting uh, in uh, California. And it, every part I remember what uh, I had experience. Like when uh, Greg was talking about, the, about Afghanistan or, or about the, uh, her feelings. So... Actually, on that time, I felt what what was that like. Mm -hmm. So, I'm really happy uh, that I um, had that opportunity to tell the story and remind people what happened to Afghanistan and what happened to women in Afghanistan. And those are here, and they are starting from zero. They are starting from nothing because all of us lost what we made for it, for uh, what we worked for it, and for 20 years, everyone, men and women, worked hard for it. And yeah. Well, thank you so much. Your performance was absolutely stunning. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I hope that you're raising a glass to yourself and really um, celebrating this incredible journey this whole week, this Sundance week. And Greg, really quickly, if I would love to hear um, you talk about that, you know, finding that kind of dry humor and, and when you first read the script, you know, um, what you thought, how you would approach, approach this. I mean, the humor that I'm attracted to anyway tends to be stuff that I think is marginalized as humor when mm. it's actually very dramatic. To me, yeah. one of the funniest... I don't know if I'd call him a comedian, but just one of the funniest people that I ever read or heard speak was Leonard Cohen, who's not thought of as a comedian. <laughs> He's thought of as the most serious of serious, but I, I always find him very, very funny. And I think that um, those two worlds are closer than people think, especially if you're doing anything of substance, you know? And mm -hmm. I don't like to do. Uh, I don't like to act in other people's comedy if it's a little wacky or zany. I'm not really looking for that type of thing. I'm more interested in character studies that they it, the person might be funny in a way, but there's something darker going on there. Mm -hmm. And definitely this, this script spoke to me instantly like that. Yeah, it's, it's incredibly grounded. And I think, too, it speaks to the humanity of the experience, you know. Um, but I think that's my time. I'll let y'all go. But thank you so much. This was such an honor. And just enjoy the rest of your you. weekend and the premiere so soon. Oh, my goodness. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.